Hey, what is up guys? This is iReviews. In this video, I will show you the top 30 city tweaks compatible with iOS 8.3. The first tweak for this video is called CC Background. This tweak allows you to add any of your images as the background of your control center. Now, to do that, you need to go to your settings, go to CC Background, enable it right here, then you have Select Image. If you go here, you can go to any of your albums and choose any of your photos and set it as the background of your control center. Next up is Status Hood 2. This tweak will replace your volume hood with these volume indicators on your status bar. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button, then you have two different styles, then lower here you can change this size, normal and large, and then lower here you have the dismiss delay, you can choose very slow, slow, normal or fast. Next up we have Kill Background 8. This tweak allows you to kill all the background running apps simply by tapping this button here on the app switcher. If you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button, then you can enable auto close the app switcher, then enable a left button and also enable bigger buttons. Lower here you can enable kill music app and also you can exclude apps. If you want to exclude any of your apps just select them right here. You can see when I go to the app switcher just tap this button and it will kill all the background running apps. The next tweak for this video is called Repower. This tweak will add a few more options to the power down menu of your device. You can see now here you will have a reboot button and also another respring button. Now if you go to settings all you have here for this tweak is a button where you can enable or disable it. Next up is Alkaline. This tweak allows you to customize the battery indicator of your iOS 8 device. If you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button, then here you have the themes. You can choose between three different themes and apply them to your battery indicator. The next tweak is called Bigify. This tweak allows you to resize your icons, you can also change their transparency and also rotate them. You can do that by going to your settings, here you have three sliders where you can change the size, the transparency and also rotate the icons. Lower here you can hide the icon labels, flip the badges and also you can choose if you want to affect the dock or not. Then lower here you have an apply changes button, you need to respring your device and all the changes will take effect. The next tweak for this video is preference organizer 2. This tweak will organize your settings app as you can see it will place all the sections of the settings app into four sections you have apple apps social apps then you have app store apps and you have the tweaks right here you can see if i open tweaks here we have all the tweaks that i have installed separated from the other stuff on the settings app if you go to the settings of this tweak you can enable or disable any of these sections you can also rename them and then here you have an apply button you hit that to respring your device and all the changes will take effect to download this tweak you will need to add a repo which I will put in the description. Next up is a tweak called Flurry. This tweak allows you to customize the blur and tint of your device as you can see it right here the notification center and also the control center. They look really cool. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button then here you can choose your blacklisted apps and then you have two modes. You can choose between a simple mode and advanced mode. Now if you go to the options of this tweak, here you can blacklist any of the UI elements of your device and then lower here you can set the levels of blur and tint on your device. Just enable them right here, set the levels with these sliders and then just respring your device and all the changes will take effect. The next tweak is called Aurea LS. This tweak will add some awesome clock widgets on the lock screen of your device. You can see right here the lock screen looks really nice and clean. You have these awesome clock widgets and you can also change them simply by going to your settings, going to Aurea LS and here you have clock face settings. If you go here you have clock type, you have text, digital and analog and if you go back you can show AM, PM on digital then show the date on digital and you can also change the fonts right here and if you want to reset all these settings just hit this button right here and it will reset all these settings to their default. Next up is a tweak called Classic Dock. This tweak will bring back the old iOS 6 dock to your iOS 8 device. As you can see it right here it looks very cool. 
Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button. Then here you have two different modes you can choose from. Then here you can enable a darker background for the dog. You can enable reflection of icons. You can also show a running indicator in the dock, which will show a running indicator at the apps that you have running in the background. You can also enable bounce icons on launch and then here have a respring button for all these changes to take effect. The next tweak for this video it's called Cabolia. This tweak will replace your recent contacts on your app switcher with these very useful toggles. You can add them right here, you can rearrange them or you can remove any of them. You can do all that by simply going to your settings, go to Cabolia and here you have an enable button. Then you have the switches. If you go here, you have your enabled switches and then you have your disabled switches. You can add any of them, enable them, disable them or rearrange them. And if you go back, you can also enable section label and switches labels right here. Next up is a tweak called Grid Switcher. This tweak will change the layout of your app switcher to a 2x2, 3x3 or a 4x4 grid layout. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button, then here you can change the layout. You have 2x2, 3x3 or 4x4. Then lower here you can also enable the icons if you want the icons of the apps to show on the app switcher. You can scale them, set the offset from the bottom or even enable a drop shadow. You can also enable or disable the labels for the icons right here. The next tweak for this video is called Dock Shift. This tweak allows you to customize the background of your dock. As you can see right here, I have a transparent background on the dock. And if you go to the settings of this tweak, here you have an enable button. And here you can change the background of the dock. You have different styles right here. You can choose any of these styles. And if you go back, you have the landscape style. You can also choose a different background for the landscape mode and a different one for the portrait mode. And if you go back, then you can enable hide dots and also shift page dots down. Next up is Zeppelin. Zeppelin is a well-known city tweak which allows you to customize the carrier logo of your iPhone. You can see if you go to the settings of this tweak, all you have here is an enable button where you can enable or disable this tweak. Then here you have theme. If you go to theme, you have all these logos that you can choose from. You can also add additional ones simply by going to Cydia and search for Zeppelin. You can also completely remove the logo. Just hit none right here. And as you can see, you won't have anything but the bars here at the carrier of your phone. The next tweak for this video, it's called transparent dock. This is a simple tweak. All it does is that it will remove the background from the dock on your device. As you can see it right here, the docked icons don't have a background. It looks very cool. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. All you have to do is install it. Next up, we have a tweak called Side Delete. This tweak allows you to delete the apps that you have downloaded from Cydia, just like a normal app that you have downloaded from the App Store. You can see right here, I can go ahead and delete Bidafun directly from my springboard. Just hit the X button right there, and I can delete it directly from the springboard. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button where you can enable or disable it. Then here you have two buttons which enables the protection for Cydia and the Pangu app. The next tweak for this video it's called CC Loader. This tweak allows you to customize the control center of your device. As you can see right here, if you go to the settings of this tweak, you will be able to rearrange all the sections of the control center. You can also disable any of them or you can enable here dynamic media controls, which means that it will show the media controls on your control center only when you're playing music and when you're not playing anything on your device, it will remove them and you won't have them on your control center. Next up is Badge Customizer. This tweak will allow you to customize the badges of your iOS 8.3 device. As you can see right here, we have a purple badge and it's bigger and you can do all these customizations by going to your settings, go to Badge Customizer, enable it right here, then here you have the color. You can choose a color or you can pick here a default color and lower here you can change the size of the badge and then here you have the position. If you want to change the position of the badge, you can do it right here. Next up, we have a tweak called Swipe Selection. This tweak allows you to easily move through text by simply sliding here 
on the space bar you can see if I swipe here I can move the cursor anywhere I want on the text and now I can edit the text right here you can see pretty simple just tap on the space bar and slide your finger and you can move the cursor anywhere on your text this tweak doesn't have any options to configure you can download it from the big boss repo next up is a tweak called cylinder cylinder will add these cool animations to the home screen of your device when you slide through your pages you see you have different animations that you can choose when you swipe through your pages on your home screen now if you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button where you can enable or disable it then here you have the effects you can choose different effects you have a lot of effects right here you can also combine two or more effects and get some cool effects on your springboard next up we have a tweak called circle icons this is a simple tweak what it does is that it will reshape the icons of your settings app and make them round you can see it right here it will make all the icons on your settings app in circles and here if you go to the settings of this tweak all you have here is icon shape if you go here you can choose default or circle and you can also completely remove all the icons just enable it right here and then just hit respring for all the changes to take effect next up is dock color this tweak allows you to change the background color of your dock as you can see right here the dock of my device has a blue background and you can change the color by simply going to your settings enable this tweak right here then here you have color you can pick a color right here and you can set the transparency of that color with the slider right here after you set the transparency you just go back and here you can set the alpha of the color and then you will have a new background on your dock next up we have a very useful tweak called double cut this tweak allows you to insert your email anywhere you want by simply double tapping the add key on your keyboard now the first thing you have to do after you install this tweak is go to the settings go to double cut hit edit right here and then enter your email right here and then you can enter your email anywhere simply by double tapping the add button on your keyboard you can see right here you can enter your email easily anywhere next up is power tap this tweak will add some more options to the power down menu of your ios 8 device you can see right now if i go to the power down menu i can tap on the button right here and it will switch from slide to power up to slide to reboot and then slide to respring and slide to go to the safe mode and if you go to the settings of this tweak you can enable or disable any of these toggles you can also rename them right here next up we are going to talk about ifile ifile is also compatible with ios 8.3 what it does is that it allows you access to all the files of your device as you can see it right here just open it you can search for any file or you can go ahead and explore any of your files you can download ifile for free from the big boss repo next up is dark folder 7 this tweak will customize the look of the icon and also the look of the background of your folders as you can see now the background and the icon of the folders are much darker they look very cool now if you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button then you have two buttons you can enable it for the icon or for the background next up we have a tweak called switch spring this tweak allows you to swipe up on the home card on your app switcher and now it will give you the option to respring quit all apps or just cancel you can see if i hit quit all apps right here it will close all the background running apps this tweak doesn't have any options to configure all you have to do is install it the next tweak for this video it's called lithium this tweak allows you to customize the battery indicator on your status bar as you can see right here if you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button where you can enable or disable it then here you have two different themes you can choose from if you go here you can choose each of these themes and then just respring your device and all these changes will take effect next up is icon renamer this tweak allows you to rename any of your apps simply by holding the icon just hold one of the icons then just tap on it and now here you can see you can enter any name you want for that icon now if you go to the settings of this tweak all you have here is an enable button to require double tap to rename an icon the next tweak is called clear folders 
This is a simple tweak. All it does is that it will remove the background from the folders and now you will have just a clear, nice looking folder. It doesn't have any options to configure. You can download it for free. So these are the top 30 city tweaks compatible with iOS 8.3. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also go ahead and follow us on Twitter. You can find a link to our Twitter account in the description of this video.